Hello friends and fans of EVGA and today we're going to be showing you how to register your product at EVGA.com. It's a very simple process and we're going to start with the product itself. Uh, we have an RTX card right here. Um, the serial number sticker is on the top of the box and uh, before you get cute and think that you can register this product and do warranty on it, uh, we have flagged this serial number so it's not actually useful anymore. Um, it's good to make sure that the serial number on the box also matches what's on the card and technically um, it's more important to register what's on the, on the product itself than the box. Of course they should match but let's just make sure. And now we have our card. And you can see on the back of the card we have our uh, back plate and then the serial number sticker is on that back plate. Um, so that's very typical, very indicative of what you should have on your product. If it's a power supply, it'll be on the outside of the power supply. And uh, same with all of our other products, it'll be visible on the outside of the product. So um, we want to take this serial number and first thing we want to do is we want to go to EVJ.com. Uh, when you're on the home page of EVGA.com, you can go to service and then product registration is the first link in the second column, the service column. So click on product registration. Very important, um, you have to register your product to an EVGA account. So if you don't have an EVGA account set up yet, um, this is a great opportunity to go ahead and create one and it gives you the option to sign up. Um, and you'll fill in the information here. Um, basically, the reason why you want an address is if we ever need to replace this product, uh, we want to have an address that we can send that product to. So uh, we already have a login, so we're going to go back to the main page and click on Sign In. And uh, let's go ahead and sign in to our account. Okay, now we're fully signed in and we're on the main page. So again, we're going to go to service and then product registration. And then that's where you'll want to put in the serial number from the graphics card. Um, with a graphics card uh, like this one from 2018, it starts with 181. So we're going to go ahead and put in the serial number. One, one. and your serial number should be 16 digits long um, and it also have a product number that product number is identifies the actual model of card this is now that we put our serial number in it'll automatically pull in the part number because that is part of the serial number uh, it'll also ask you for the date that you purchased it um, if you don't exactly know that's okay um, if you put in the wrong date you can reach out to our support and we can update that for you but try to be as accurate as possible uh, we'll put today's date for this one And there's also an affiliate code option. Uh, the affiliate code you would get from an EVGA customer, basically somebody who said, this is my personal affiliate code, which is tied to every account. And that helps get that person a little bit of um, credit, store credit that they can use when purchasing new products. So there we go. It says EVJ product registration successful. You will also get an email uh, with the serial number indicating that you registered this, so that you know um, that you registered this product to that account. Um, from there, you can contact our support. If you have any issues with your product, we can track it and put tickets in the system using that serial number. We can provide replacements under warranty using that serial number. So it is good to get your product registered anytime you can, uh, though it must be said even without registration, you can still get full warranty on your EVGA products. This has been just a quick little how-to, uh, something that our customers often ask us about and we wanted to give you a little video version of that. Uh, we will have more useful how-to videos in the future.